Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Hopkins here with the instructions you need to make your trifold biography for your Black History Project. So we are going to get a piece of paper and we are going to first fold it in order to make our trifold biography. And basically, I chose LeBron James as an example, but you would take your piece of paper, hold it horizontal, that's sideways, and in order to make the trifold, you're gonna fold in part of the right side, part of the left side, okay? And I want mine to meet in the middle. Sometimes trifolds have three equal sides and they are kind of all the same length, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna make ours so that they meet in the middle. So when I open it, I have three sections, but the middle section is the biggest. Okay, so you are going to pick a person uh, that you want to recognize for Black History Month. And your person could be maybe a black athlete or a black performer, whether it be dancing or singing or poetry or theater. It could be a black politician, a black activist, a black athlete. So you decide who you want to pick and you are going to write their name in bold letters across the top. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna write five sentences about that person. You can make your sentences to form a paragraph or you can do maybe five separate sentences as bullet points. It's up to you. However, my seventh and eighth graders are going to put your five sentences in the middle, but you're gonna add two additional facts on the left side. Okay, so my seventh and eighth grade, five sentences in the middle, two additional facts about your person on the left side. Maybe they could be interesting and um, weird or bizarre facts. Okay, but the main thing is the name at the front, five sentences in the middle, complete sentences, please. Okay, on the right side, you can add a design, but you are going to also tell me why you chose this person. So let me show you my example. I'm gonna move this paper over. My example looks like this. So my example is about an artist named Jean-Michel Basquiat. I have my five sentences. I did not put them into a paragraph form. I just did five bullet points. So you can decide however you want to do your five sentences. For my seventh and eighth grade, I have what you need, two additional facts on the side. So I wrote my two additional facts sideways like that. Okay, but you also are going to write why you chose this person. And again, I added a picture on this side and I'm gonna turn my paper so that I can see why I chose this person. Okay, when I close my paper, this is artwork similar to the style that Jean-Michel Basquiat used to make. So his artwork was very expressive. Um, it, it had letters and numbers sometimes in it. A lot of it had crowns. So that's why I made the image that I did. So on the front, you want to make something that relates to or give hints to the name inside. So people who know Jean-Michel Basquiat's work, it, this is easy. 
because they could definitely say, oh, this must be about Jean-Michel Basquiat. So let's say if you did choose an athlete on the front, you would make something that would provide a clue as to who was on the inside, okay? You wanna make sure that you fill up the front, draw it out, add color to it, and then when you open it up, again, the name nice and bold at the top, your five sentences, this could be written out in cursive, you could make five separate sentences or put it in a paragraph. Seventh and eighth grade, I want two additional facts on the left side. And I want everyone to include why you chose this person. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know. The only thing I will say is when you submit this to me, you're going to need to show me the cover and you're going to need to show me the inside. So the best way to submit it is when you hit the microphone, it's going to allow you to record your submission. So record your trifold closed and then slowly open it up and then submit it that way. Okay, I can't wait to see who you pick and what you come up with. And I look forward to it. Let me know if you have questions.